Hey everybody and welcome back to Spars Outdoors and this is your fishing report for a week. We're going to start right off down there on Lake St. Clair, the canals, the cuts, the marinas. If you got access, there's some good perch going on in there. A couple bluegills, a couple crappies, a couple sunfish. It's that time of year. Um, if you got access to those canals, hit them. You'll get some nice perch right now and that's all along St. Lake St. Clair. Uh, right down there by Sulphur, a lot of small perch going on but expect some big ones to show up there pretty soon. Pretty soon you'll see those bluegills show up by the boat launch as well. It, you know that's that's any time but any of those canals and creeks and ditches you can get access to and get in get in on there's some really nice perch and big numbers i'm telling you that right now and and it's, it's a great great time to get on those perch down there um i'm not going to talk too much about about lake st Clair as, as normal um we're going to come right back down we're going to start off in the algonac marine city area for the walleye got a buddy out there he's doing pretty good on whipping uh getting some walleyes there's a uh, there's some walleyes definitely there to be caught. Nothing, nothing. I'm not going to tell you it's going to be hot and heavy for everybody because it's not. you got to know the spots. you got to know where to go. And you got to know exactly what you're doing to get good numbers right now. But people are picking away at them. It's slow. That water temperature is only 38 degrees, 38.9. I mean, that was the warmest water we found the other day. But as for the cohos and Atlantic salmon, we got a good video coming out Friday. Um, it's 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 loaded the river system is loaded with silverfish right now so trolling is good using the john latham custom shad wraps um the triple threat spoons the triple threat lure spoons um we're using flicker shads with the hyper vis tape i added onto the added onto the flicker shad thin fins everything's working man so uh bombers f9 repellers on on two color lead core and latham customs obviously orange or green or purple or yellow <laughs> you're gonna to want to make sure you have those in your arsenal for sure the silverfish are in the river um let's come and we, oh we were marking bait clouds of smell and they were smelt so let's just come down a little bit farther into the marysville port here in area walleye fishing same thing hit or miss get a couple get none you know it's it's very slow that water temperature coming out of lake here on very cold so it's 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 just we don't the water levels are down there's so much cold water dumping out of Lake Huron right now. It has everything a little messed up. So the jig bite might be decent one day. You might get a couple. The next day you might get none. It's just very slow. The guys fishing off the boardwalk are doing better because that's where the bait fish are. That's where the smelts are starting to run. That's where things are going to start picking up hot and heavy. The silverfish action has been getting better down there. Lots of silverfish being caught. A couple lake trout, some Atlantics, really nice cohos, a nice brown trout I seen the other day. Uh, small 10 pound king that was a nice king that was a nice catch off the boardwalk um all, all the silverfish are there and them cohos are really going to start going nuts there any minute it's just going to it's going to be fantastic fishing any minute we're going to get the best of the smelt run that we're going to get this year we get to put the big nets in on on the 20th of march every year and, and a lot of those smelt have already moved through the big schools of them but we'll we're still going to do good on smelt uh can't say we're going to do excellent but we're going to do good on smelt um, we're actually going to go and give it a try tonight, but um, head right up in the Lake Huron and start in front of those creek miles. Great place to troll. Mud line when, there, when the rain we did have is pushing a little mud out. Troll that mud line. Them cohos are going to be there. Them steelhead are going to be there. And that 15 to 20 foot of water, and that's going to go all the way from Lax all the way from Lakeport, all the way up into Harbor Beach. Going to do the same 15, 20 foot. Don't be scared to go out to 30 though and test it out. You know, if you want to get a nice king or something, you you can get them in shallow. You can get them in really shallow. But I'm not going to play around. I'm going to hit that 15 to 20, 30 foot of water. I'm going to work the area. I'm going to S, S, you know, just S shape all the way up. Head north, head south, then east, and west. I'm going to hit them from every angle and figure out what they're biting, why they're biting it, where they're biting it at, and where, where I'm catching the most fish. And that's, that's how I'm going to target those fish. So right now is the time to do it as soon as this lake lays down, which is laid down today. But when these high winds... And the warmer weather, the high winds need to lay down. That warmer weather next week comes. I think we're going to see a lot of people catching a lot of fish. It's my prediction. And then head on up to Caseville. I know inside the marine they're catching perch over by Seed Wing behind uh, Alexander's Bait and Tackle. They're still getting some crappies and bluegills in there. No big numbers of perch yet, but that's going to be any minute. Any minute there's going to be big numbers of perch in there. So um, and up here in Black River, you know, Mill Creek area, loaded up right now with suckers. Great time to take kids sucker fishing. Uh, we just had a rain. The water level so low, the water didn't really get that high. It's not really ripping through there. It stained it, but didn't make it pure mud. Get out there, get the kids fishing, catch some suckers. Right now is a great time to do that. Bell River, same thing. Pine River, same thing. 
the mouth of Pine River's probably got some perch around it. The mouth of Black River's probably got some perch around it, you know, so keep that in mind as well. So right now is a great time to get out fishing. It's it's that time of year where we're kind of sitting here waiting for that weather to break so we can all get out there and get going on them. The fish are there, the silverfish are there, the walleyes will start picking up after that two weeks, in about two weeks after we have them, them warm temperatures, expect that walleye fishing to just snap and we're going to have a good good run of walleyes come through. But remember guys, that water temperature is so cold, it's keeping things backed up a bit. Them fish are laying on the bottom and ain't that they ain't there. There's fish there. They're just laying on the bottom, laying in that mud. They're lethargic. They're not moving very fast at all. And, you know, down in Algonac, you got a little bit more warm water. Uh, that North Channel's holding a lot of walleyes in it right now. So it, if I was going to go target, target fish, I'd go to the North Channel. I'd troll. I'd troll for silvers and catch walleyes in between. And I might hand line in the North Channel, you know, for walleyes because the North Channel is full of walleyes right now. As soon as that warm temperature picks, picks itself up here in the next couple weeks, things are going to get get hot and heavy. So... That's all I have for you guys for the fishing report for the week. Oh, before I before I get off topic, Carson's Island is very slow right now. The water levels, again, are super, super low, but it's very slow right now. Expect that to pick up. I'm saying within the next week, week and a half, you're going to start seeing good numbers of gills caught again in, in large quantities. So, uh, And the quality of the fish will be good, too, I'm, I'm predicting. So that's just my prediction. Don't quote me on that, but when that warmer weather comes, things will ramp up back over there and... And everybody will be back over there fishing again. So that's all I have for you guys for the fishing report for the week. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. I'll see you guys here tomorrow night live. And uh, thanks everybody again for watching. Spars Outdoors.